What is going on, guys? Week 12 against the Jaguars. I don't think I've ever played the Jaguars before, so this is going to be interesting. Goals this week, rush for 10 yards, scored two touchdowns. We can do that. Season's goals, 33 out of 36 passing touchdowns. Last game, it was cut really close, and we lost by one point. These guys are an overall 91% rating. They're like 10% higher rating than our, my team. So, uh, oh, let's see if we, uh, we can put a stop to them. I wonder if these will be the guys that we see in the playoffs. Hopefully Elliot, or not Elliot, Switzer is not at a minus nine anymore. There we go. Completes it to the rookie from North Carolina, Ryan Switzer. 23 yards on the play. And they better put that ball to the side because with that catch, he's a new single season receiving yards record holder. What a fantastic year. And we saw it start early, didn't we, partner? Right out of the gate. We knew he was going to have a tremendous year, but who knew it would culminate in breaking this all-time record? He's going to... This is caught inside the 15. Damn. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. Give him 30 yards there. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because usually you have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. Flushed out right. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Let's go. Rolling to his right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. That's fucking gay, sack. dude. He probably feels like he cannot get a break. He was sacked seven times last week. And here we go again in the first quarter. And we always talk about the internal clock of a quarterback in the pocket and how he has to have a real keen sense of it in order to get rid of the football. After being sacked. And he's what? Down again. Dewan Smoot. He's the one to get him this time. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Oh, dear. Eluding the pressure right. He finds an opening past the 40. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. Oh. Uh. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And he is yeah, let's go. Touchdown. touchdown. Here's 
Man, dude, they're really now, heading smart. back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line in. And no escaping this time as he'll oh. go down. They got him for a sack. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That they occupied people to allow to be no less than a one. And the pressure gets to him again. What? The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He's going to air one out. And that's caught. Inside Get fucked, you stupid bitches. with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. Mmm! Fucking... Fucking jumping off. bitch. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away in its second down. Because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Burton. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work. And how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes? And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Hurry up, here we go. Blue line it. Blue line it. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. It inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. And some room to maneuver. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Fights loose. Still on his feet. Why are you still, still trying to throw, dude? Oh, I don't understand, dude. I was sitting there fucking trying to sprint. And he's still trying to throw the ball. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. So we've hit halftime on Turkey Day here in Dallas. Check, 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 check. 
I didn't even know that the time was down that low shit. I would have used some timeouts. They'll set up to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing round. A very solid gain of 27. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? And some room to work. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is intercepted. Great to see no, no interception. He did Thank not you. keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw again. Steps away to his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Here we go now. They'll drop the throw. Flushed out right. Oh. It's a loss of seven. And now it's third down. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dewan Smoot in there to pick up his second sack now. have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead but now here third quarter maybe go to the run game a little more yeah perhaps i mean after that incompletion a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall he's going to wind up and air it out and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete well, partner, I think the defensive fellow's got the memo, and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Weaver. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Could just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. 
This is Elliott. And some space here. Good move at the 30. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Yeah. Touchdown, Cowboys. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go now. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Shedding the tackler that gives him some room. Still going. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. And you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. Fresh set of downs here. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle complete. That's Burton. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that what? is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this Thank is just goodness, a completion dude. here. Let's run it a Fair little bit. Say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Now let's go. Three, let's go. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now let's go. Green, 30. 
That one looks like he'll throw here. But he almost had it defensively. How am I supposed to throw it to that fat fuck? In second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this. Fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this. All right, 60% composure, four touchdowns, 412 yards, throwing 34 to 24. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.